Hi, welcome to another episode of my creative music process. My name is Pablo Lenguen, and today I'm going to show you a little trick on the guitar. So today we're going to talk about harmony, and I'm going to show you from a C major chord. how to extend the chord into, in this case, a C major seven, nine. So one, three, seven, nine. Right, so now that we have this shape, I'm gonna play it in the higher set of the guitar. Right? And here's when it's going to get interesting, because I'm going to play a different bass note. So now I just created a, an A minor 9-11. So with this shape, I'm going to go back to the root, so I'm going to play a, C sharp, G sharp, B natural. So one, three, seven, nine, correct? And I'm gonna play the bass on A. On the fifth string of the guitar. So it sounds like a major chord. With seven and nine. And that is also what I'm gonna use to play the Ionian mode. So in this same shape, if I go a few frets above, up to D on my shape, but with bass on A, I'm still playing an Ionian chord. I'm describing the fourth, the sixth, the third, and the fifth. So I can do this. Describing the chord, the Ionian mode, right? Without changing shapes in my guitar, on my left hand at least. Now I want to play the other major uh, mode, which is the Lydian mode. So I'm just gonna think that perhaps playing this shape um, starting on B that gives me the ninth sharp 11 this is a flat 9 but it sounds kind of okay to me and then the natural third So okay, we have Now I want to play the mixolydian. So I just go uh, one step below on the same shape. The G. So with the G major 7 9 with a on the bass, I have the 7th of A, the 9th, the 13th, and the root. So I'm just trying to find colors here, and I have really cool colors already. So I have major. Lydian, Mixolydian. Then let's go to the minors. We started by accident on Dorian. Right? So C major 7 9 with A on the bass creates an A Dorian 
So it's A minor, 9, 11. Now if I want to go to the other minor, I'm going to think of the Aeolian that has a flat 6, so I'm just going to play this shape on the flat 6 of A on an F. And with this shape I'm describing an F, or an F major 7-9. But then I'm playing A on the bass, so I have an A minor, flat 13, root, 5th, and the 7th. It's easier here. It sounds a little brighter and nicer. I have a Dorian sound and then an Aeolian sound. Now, for the Phrygian sound, I'm just going to think about the flat 9, which is one of the most important notes on that scale. So I'm going to play the shape from the flat 9. In that, in that case, I have a Phrygian, A Phrygian, with flat 9, 11, root, and, and third. So again, from the three minor uh, modes, I have Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian. And now I just need to figure out where to find the Locrian. So that's easy. It's a sharp 11. So it's really an E flat major 7 9, E flat G, D, F with A on the bass. So in that way, I am building an A Locrian with sharp 11, 7, or let's say flat 5 rather, 7, natural 4th, and uh, flat 13. So to review, I have in one shape of, of an upper structure uh, set of strings, uh, the same shape is going to give me so many different chords. In fact, seven different chords that are going to give me the seven modes if I continue to play my bass on A in this case. So I have yeah, Ionian over A, Dorian, which is C major with A on the bass, Phrygian is B flat major with A on the bass. Lydian, which can be B major 7 with A on the bass, but also E major 7 with A on the bass. This is actually more accurate. I have the root. 7, sharp 11, uh, 13. Now Mixolydian, it's G major with A on the bass. Then Aeolian is F major. Locrian is E flat major with A on the bass. 
So now that I have all my colors, all my chords, and all my modes, I'm going to transfer these sounds into a string section. Okay, so now I'm going to do exactly the same, except I'm going to have um, not only my guitar, but I'm going to have a little bit of strings. So A major. That would be A major or A Ionian. Then Dorian. Then Phrygian. Then Lydian. Then Mixolydian. Then Aeolian and then Logan. So there you go, you have the seven modes now on the guitar with one shape. And then on the piano with a similar approach, uh, just playing major chords with one bass note and that pretty much helps you create uh, really cool voicings and harmonies that can you know be of help in in scoring and orchestrating uh, a tune so hope you enjoy and uh, see you next time ciao